Hey, this is Jason, and today we are going to look at how to import a page from the Canvas Commons. Use that page then as your home page, your landing page in your Canvas course. So our steps will basically be to go into the Commons and find the page we want to import. We're going to import it, we're going to modify it, so really our second step, and then we're going to set it as our home page. So let's begin. So you can see here in my Canvas shell, when I click on the home page, we have this boring home page, just has a little welcome message, better than nothing perhaps, but what we're going to do today is go into the comments and find the page that we want to do. Now I've set up a, a specially branded home page in the comments for use in the UK a College of Social Work. And so we're going to find it by, the, probably the easiest way is just to type in my name, Jason Johnston with a T. And then the very first page that will come up right now anyways will be this page. Now there may be other versions in the future if you're watching this. Right now I'm on version 1.1. This is a page that I set up that is styled with some CSS, which if you don't know is a, is kind of a programming language to help things look pretty on the web. And if we click on there you'll see a little synopsis. You'll see the title of it up there. And then you'll see over on the right-hand side, there's a little dialog to import into Canvas. I'm going to choose the class that I'm going to import into. And as long as you're signed into Canvas, and then you should see up on the right-hand corner here your, your face or your sign-in on the left, as long as you're signed into Canvas and you're part of UK, you'll be able to find this class. And I'm going to click on Import into Course. Now it says right away you have successfully started the import. Please note that it may take a while to see your changes in your course. So it may take a couple minutes, but usually what I have found that it is pretty quick. So I'm going to go back over to my dashboard here. And I'm going to click into my course. And to verify that the course is actually in there, we're going to look up here under the pages. View all pages. Click on creation date to have it sort. And you can see that the last edit was September 1st, and we can see the new style sheeted um, UK welcome page version 1.1 that is in there. So I'm going to click on that page so we can start to edit it. Click on the edit button. As you probably know, two different ways to edit content pages. You can either uh, use the uh, this content editor that kind of makes it look like the way it's going to look. Now with the CSS, it's not going to look exactly that way, so don't be alarmed. Or you can go into the HTML. In the HTML, for those that want to get into the HTML, I have included some different um, comments and so on, so it can kind of guide you through, but there's a lot there. One thing you have to be careful of now if you're doing any editing in here is not to erase inadvertently any of the HTML that I put in. So I would stick mostly to the different boxes and so on to edit. So what we're going to do is start by changing these course titles up here. So we're going to say welcome to intro to Canvas. And really at the top should be your course title, I guess, whatever your, your name is. So we could call this Intro 101. Put in your face-to-face -face meeting times, your location. And then one thing I would suggest is that you save as you go along because there's no autosave here in Canvas when you're working on the content pages. And you can see how things are going. That way if you've made any major mistake as well, you can see more easily where you've gone wrong. All right, the next thing we're going to do is change this picture right here. As nice as that picture is, it's good to put your own picture in there. So we're going to click on there again. Click on the picture. Make sure that picture is selected. Go over to Images, and you're going to upload your new image. Choose, ideally, a square picture of some sort. And then you still have to upload it again after you've chosen the picture. 
you'll see that it kind of pops out of the box a little bit. I'm going to look at what would happen if I hit save right now. And that picture is way too large. It didn't quite fit in the box, right? No worries. I'll go back in and edit here. And I'm just going to select that picture and use one of those corners just to pull it so it's about the right size to fit inside of that box. And we're going to do save and check again. All right, that looks better. Next thing we're going to do is change some of this information down here. Now ideally, what you want to do is just change it line by line rather than try to change it all at one time because it may mess up the formatting. So I'm going to put in first line and select the second line. Select the third line. I'm going to put in email address, which if you put a space in afterwards, should automatically link up as a hot link. And the Canvas inbox link there will just basically link back to, to the person's um, inbox over here to be able to contact. Let's save. See how that's looking. Okay, that's working. So let's change our little welcome message over here now. What I'm going to do just select this part right there. Make sure you don't select anything else because if you select any of that other white box, then it may throw the whole design off. If that happens, uh, you know, you can either contact me for help or the easiest thing might be to import the style sheet again or the the welcome page template again rather than to try to fix it unless you want to get into HTML. Now in that case it started popping up at the top which I did not want so I just did an undo. Try a little smaller part here that looks better. And, and then carefully replace this bottom part And then we'll save it and see if that works. Okay, that's looking good. And you could probably do a lot more as your your welcome message there. Basically now you could do the same thing down here. As you look down in the course description, again, try not to clip anything out of the box itself. And then as well in the finding your way around this course in Canvas. Now this part here, uh, well, the course description probably could just be a copy and paste from your syllabus as kind of an introduction to the course. Right down here, this could be left as is. It's basically just some general help to navigate around Canvas. Or you can delete that section if you would like to or put something else in there or modify it as you wish. Over here on the right is where the a quote would go. You could just start typing something in there. Again, just edit one line at a time as you're doing that. And then again, down here at the bottom is a part that I added for help basically for students the first time that they're inside of Canvas. It gives them some, some important links for finding help if they have any trouble uh, right here in UK. And then at the bottom, in just a, a UK branded footer. I tried to stick with a basic UK branding and the official colors here at UK in terms of design to be able to bring a little bit of consistency across the home pages. Let's save that and see what is working. And it looks like generally it's working okay. So that's our second step to modify our page. So we've imported it, we modified it, now we're going to set it as our home page. Now the way to do that is we click on view all pages. Oh, we did forget one thing, which I'll show you 
how to modify that from here. We have our old boring page there. We have our UK welcome page. I'm going to right click here and do edit. This way I can just change the title without having to go back into the edit. And I'm just going to call it Welcome Students. Okay, so there's our new page right there. You can see how the old boring home page is selected as the front page. And now what we're going to do is go back over to this gear and click on Use as Front Page. See that changes. To test, click up here on Home. And there we go, a new front page. I hope this was helpful to you and that by increasing the visual representation of your pages, hopefully can increase learning engagement with your students for better courses. Contact me if you have any questions.